Hey everyone, this is Samlock24 and before we go any further, I want to remind you to keep your phone vertical and click that full screen icon on the bottom right. Now, um, today I'm going to be showing you that Sacred Soldier deck uh, and then after that we'll be opening some packs because I do have um, 666 gems, which is a really unlucky number and it, it just follows my luck, I guess. We're probably not going to be opening anything good out of that. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you the deck. And the deck's actually, it's extremely, extremely fun to play. And I'm playing it in Platinum 2. And I've just been completely destroying everybody. The deck has one, one huge flaw. And that is, it's very... Uh, if you play against a Phoenix deck, you're not going to win. Because what it does is it uses Skull uh, Lair to destroy everything on your opponent's side. And <laughs> if you're playing against a Phoenix, there's no possible way for you to... Uh, to win unless you have a uh, a black luster soldier sacred soldier removed and then you have a um, a premature return but let me go ahead and get into the deck and then i'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about it so basically we're running the three black luster soldiers sacred soldiers and those were really really hard to get and uh i was I actually ran out of all my light stones trying to get them and now i can't get any uh, uh bountiful artemis because of that which is kind of sad uh, and then three dark flare dragons Three Sphere Karibo, three Light, uh, light Ray Greffers, two Decoichi, three Magical Merchants, oh, and one Monster Reincarnation, one Premature Return, and one Skull Layer. So basically, what you want to do, like early on in the in the game, you want to summon Light Ray Greffer, activate his, uh, his effect. Send a light monster and then remove a Blood Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier from the game. Uh, after that, you'll go ahead and try to load up your graveyard with Dark Monsters and then you'll Special Summon Dark Flare Dragon. Uh, dark Flare Dragon will remove another Sacred Soldier, hopefully, and a Dark Monster. Uh, and then you bring the Sacred Soldier back with Premature Return and then you go from there. So, one of the things is that if you... Uh, if for some reason you mill out, you're going to lose because uh, it did happen to me once where I just milled out completely because uh, I couldn't get anything going. And I was after that, I was thinking about adding another premature return. But I kept on playing, and uh, just that, that single copy is working out fine for me. Um, going forward, I think I may have to add another one. Uh, I don't know, though. Because once you add another spell or another trap card, uh, Magical Merchant isn't as effective as it is when, uh, when you're only running three. But... Uh, Starting with Merchant is just extremely, extremely good. And uh, if you set it and then they attack it, you go ahead and load up your graveyard with basically everything. And most of the time you mill until you get a Monster Reincarnation or a Premature Return and or, or a Skull Layer. And then you most of the time have a Dark Blur Dragon in your hand. Uh, and if not, you can go ahead and get it back from uh, with Monster Reincarnation, which uh, I tend to do a lot. But... Uh, the, the Sphere Karibos, I think they are kind of necessary because you do need to protect your monsters. And then once you have the, 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 the Sacred Soldier out, his second effect is just completely ridiculous. And let me read it to you, uh, just in case you don't you, <laughs> you haven't read it. So, you can use the, uh, this effect of Black Desert Soldier, Sacred Soldier, once per turn. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can target one level 7 or lower warrior type monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So basically, you're going to be recycling the Light Ray Griffer. Uh, and most of the time, you're not going to tribute for this guy. There's going to be a rare occasion when you do and you're able to activate his, uh, his first effect. But most of the time, uh, you're never going to do that. You're most of the time going to be summoned with a premature return. And that's the reason why I was uh, maybe trying to add a second one. Because you do want to have this guy out. Because <laughs> he's a 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. And... There's not that many cards out there that can take a, or can attack over it. And mo most of the time, once you have it out, uh, you will win. Now, one of the things is that I was trying to record a, a ton of gameplay for you guys. However, once I got this guy out, the opponent just rage quit at it, uh, like after it. There was uh, several times where I tributed and then they completely destroyed the opponent and he just rage quit. Or uh, whenever I activate Premature Return, once they saw the Sacred Soldier, they rage quit. So I did have a ton of wins that I wasn't able to record, and I have, and I did have some really, really good games, and I had a really good game against an, an Aturia player, but uh, I lucked out and I completely destroyed him, and I couldn't, I couldn't record it because he left the game, and they didn't give me the option to record because he didn't surrender or anything. 
Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the the replay so you can go ahead and see the uh, the deck in action. But uh, I must say that out of ten wins, I lost uh, two or three out of them. So the deck is it's good, but it's very very luck based. So you do have to be very lucky with your mills, uh, and you do have to run the uh, the skill restart so you can go ahead and uh, do the restart. And I'm currently in platinum rank two. Let's see. Let's check out the re dual replays. So against Jami Yugi, let's, uh, and I recorded this uh, earlier. I, I don't really remember what, how, how they ended up, so uh, we're gonna have to find out as we're recording. Can I make this disappear? I'm gonna move it up here. Alright, so I did get a Magical Merchant, so I go ahead and set it, and I did get a Premature Return uh, in the first time, so that, that was amazing. And he's running Relinquish. Okay, so he attacks the Magical Merchant, and he go ahead and mill, and mill a ton of cards. So two lights, there's a dark, there's another light, there's another dark. So that's two darks and two lights, and that's, there's another dark. So I can basically summon the, the three Dark Flare Dragons already if, if I do draw them. And there I, I draw the second one, so I go ahead and summon the first one, I go ahead and activate the second one's effect and summon. Unfortunately, he enemy controls and takes one, so I just have to end the turn because I can't really do anything. And I do have a premature return, which I removed the Sacred Soldier. And here I should have waited uh, to use the Skull layer <laughs> just in case he had MST, so that was a misplay on my part. So he does Black Lucian Ritual, and I, was gonna, I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that Jin... Uh, this is rare rituals or whatever that's called, uh, so I can't use the, the layer against it, and that's really unfortunate for me. So I do remove four to get rid of the Sonic Bird, uh, because there was really nothing else that I could kill with it. So I went ahead and uh, uh, and destroyed the Sonic Bird anyways. So he attacks into my <laughs> my Black Luster, take a hundred attack over it, then I attack with the Light Ray and then attack with Dark Flare, and that that was game. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Okay, playing against Paradox Brothers. Alright, I'm going second, so let's see what happens in this replay. So he's running restart with Paradox Brothers, okay. And he's running 21 cards. So I didn't restart because I had a decent hand, and I go ahead and summon like uh, Greffer, activate Greffer's effects on Sacred Soldier, and remove a Sacred Soldier, and then set Premature Return. Oh, th th that was a very interesting deck he was playing. He was running the Treeborn Frog uh, Monarch thing. I go ahead to get uh, gets another tribute to the Doom. And I go ahead and activate premature return so I don't take any damage. I send the, the Karibu. And then my defense is 25, so he can't really do anything. I go ahead and get score layer and then I attack over and then attack. And he does have tribute to the Doom, so that's something that uh, I needed to watch out for. And here uh, the thing is it doesn't tell me what type of uh, what state is this game in, and he he was still in standby phase. Or I don't know if I failed to look at or I didn't have my chain uh, chain on. So I, I did try to use the skull layer in the, for the frog during the standby phase. Which it wouldn't have mattered because it would have just come back. So I did get another griffer and then I go ahead and attack. Uh, he, he surrenders on this one. He just... Uh, I don't know why it said fell, but I, and, uh, when I was playing it said opponent, uh, opponent surrendered. Because most of the time when, when they rage quit I can't, uh, I can't save it. Okay, playing against a bandit Keith. Alright, so I go ahead and restart because uh, uh, I just was trying to get a uh, a magical merchant, which I uh, I ended up getting, which was which was good. 
Oh, so th this is what I'm what I'm talking about. You'll see. I, ha I actually have a pretty decent ha decent hand, but he's playing Phoenix. All right, so he destroys the Phoenix, gets a Fire King avatar. He sends the avatar and attacks uh, my uh, my magical merchant. And here, I think uh, I'll get, let's get rid of that. I go ahead and mill it. Uh, so light and dark, two lights and two li uh, two darks. There's another light. There's another dark. And I was thinking I was in a good position because I have monster reincarnation, which is uh, which is fine. And there's a skull here. And here uh, I'm relying way too much on skull air, and uh, skull air doesn't really do anything against the phoenix because the phoenixes just keep coming back and they keep coming back. So the the phoenix is like one of the major problems is that the the the, the, the deck has. Uh, if you played against the phoenix, you might as well just surrender right out like the very beginning unless you're extremely extremely lucky because you can't really get rid of the the phoenixes and the the other thing is the phoenix is a level 8 so you do need a ton of monsters to get rid of it with skull layer and then after you get rid of it he comes back the next uh, the next turn so you have to do some sort of OTK which isn't really possible because you can't set the premature return because the phoenix would destroy it whenever it comes back so that's that's another thing that 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 makes it to where you can't really compete against a a, a phoenix deck. And here I was just messing around because I, I had already lost. There was really nothing else I can do. So I removed eight. And discarded that to get a sacred soldier back, but like I said, it doesn't matter because I'm already out of cards. All he has to do is end his turn. And there, I just gave up, or he he ended his turn. I had given up the the turn before because I, I was already out of cards, and there was really nothing I can do after that. Alright, the next one... Wait, which one were we just watching? Uh, let's go to... Let's see if this is it. If not, we'll have to go back. I, I just... I was wait. I just... Completely forgot what, uh, what character that was. Hopefully this isn't uh, a replay that we just... That we just saw. I do stand by, and I did get a merchant. So uh, here, I think I get unlucky, and I get the the spoker in the next in the next draw move. I think no, it doesn't. It. All right, so go ahead and light and dark. And here, I think uh, she bricked, so she can't really do anything. And I did. I I, I drew a really good hand because I did get the premature return, and then I do have another monster reincarnation, so I can go ahead and get two dark floor dragons. So I can go ahead and Dark Floor Dragon, Dark Floor Dragon, and then I have the premature return for the for the end of the turn in case my uh, my magical merchant gets destroyed or if he's able to stop an attack. But he doesn't have anything, so I can go ahead and attack for game. Okay, on the last one. And I think I go ahead and restart also, because the, the, I always want to start out with a Magical Merchant. I think Magical Merchant is the key card in the deck, and it makes it to where the, the deck can uh, run efficiently. Oh, this is one of the first ones where I was running the, the Kaiser Seahorse. So that Kaiser Seahorse uh, didn't turn out that, uh, that great, so I had to switch it. Uh, and the, the whole thing behind it was that you can use the Kaiser Seahorse as a single tribute for the, uh, for the Sacred uh, the Bloodluster Soldier. And it, it turns out that uh, whenever you have the seahorse, you rarely have the the soldier, so uh, it didn't it wasn't working that well. So I did have to completely change it. And I think this is um, a, a loss.
and he enemy controls it. And I think he, he beats me with those 200 uh, life points, which uh, when I was playing it, it the, the, the game was uh, it, it was a rush. Cause I thought I had him, but then he comes back, like, right back. And that soul exchange helped him a lot. And I don't have anything to get over the, the 2000 uh, attack. And here he enemy controllers again. Oh, I actually got him. I thought I had lost this one, but <laughs> apparently not. So uh, that was a really intense game, and uh, <laughs> it was it was tough. I thought I thought he was gonna get me, and even when uh, not even in the replay when I was playing, I thought he was gonna get me because. Uh, uh, I didn't have anything, and uh, luckily I drew that Dark Flare Dragon. But uh, anyways, I think um, that's going to be it for today. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and let me show you the deck once again. And uh, if you have the, the cards for it, go ahead and try it out. Uh, if you don't, uh, I don't want to say don't bother because the, uh, the deck is really fun to play. But uh, it is very luck-based, so it, do it doesn't take that much skill to play. You just have to be extremely, extremely lucky, and uh, it, when it comes like to, to my preferences, I, I really don't like decks that take luck. I kind of prefer more decks that are, that are more skill-based, and this isn't a skill-based deck, it's a luck-based deck. So, it just depends on, on, on what you mill and what you have uh, whenever you play this deck. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let you decide if you want to go ahead and try it out, give it a try, if you have the, if you have the cards for it. Uh, I unfortunately I wasn't paying attention to the like to the light stones and I got the third one. Uh, if I had to go back, I wouldn't get the third one so I can get a bounty for Artemis. But anyways, that's it for today. Like I said, any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And uh, if you do enjoy my content, I would truly appreciate if you subscribed. And if you dislike the video, go ahead and leave a dislike. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.